So this question is a little weird. Um, it looks like it could be a translate word problem question. Um, but let's read it and see what's going on. So the question says that gas mileage M of S in miles per gallon of a car traveling S miles per hour is modeled by the function below where S is between 20 miles per hour and 75 miles per hour. That's how I like to read those complex um, inequalities. Um, so we have our function provided here. The question goes on to say, according to the model, at what speed, right? So we know speed is S, so S equals question mark. In miles per hour, does the car obtain its greatest gas mileage? Well, we know M of S is gas mileage, so we want the greatest, we want the largest, so that arrow just means largest gas mileage. So this is actually a great question for using plug-in answers because each of these answer choices represent S values. And I can plug each of them in to the function and just figure out, well, which one of them gives me the largest M of S. So this would take a little bit of time, but let's, let's try it out here. Let's try out choice A. So choice A, if I plugged in 46, I'd end up with M of 46 equals negative 1 24th times 46 squared plus 4 times 46 minus 50. I go straight to my calculator here and I'm doing 46 squared first and I'm multiplying that or actually I'm going to divide that by negative 24 and I get negative 88.16 bar and then 4 times 46 so that's plus 184 and minus 50. So let's just see what that is exactly. Plus 184 minus 50. So I'm getting 45.8. So this ends up being 45.8. So that is the value at 46. Let's see what happens if I use 48. See, there's a trend here as my S value gets larger. So negative 124, let me just maybe use a different color. 48 squared plus 4 times 48 minus 50. So 48 times 48, 48 squared, divided by negative 24, it's negative 96. 4 times 48 equals 192, so plus 192 minus 50. So negative 96 plus 192 minus 50 is equal to 46. Okay, so looks like as we get larger in the S value, we're getting larger in our M of S, right? So, so far B is better than A. So I would probably, because I'm on my calculator and again, you know, on your calculator, you'd be doing this much faster than I am. I'm actually writing everything out. I'd probably try 50. My hunch would be that 75 is the answer. And just like the higher the speed, the better the gas mileage. That actually makes a lot of sense to a certain degree. Um, but, you know, I would, just to be certain, just try everything here. So I'm going to use red. So we say M50 is equal to negative 124. 50 squared plus 4 times 50 minus 50. Back to the calculator. 50 squared divided by negative 24. I'm getting negative 104.16 bar plus 200 minus 50. So plus 200 and minus 50. Huh, so this is back to like a 45.8. That's interesting. So these are, that's very interesting. So 50 and 46 gave me roughly the same, the same answer. So how about choice D? Let's just get rid of all this. I can have more space here. Choice D, M75 equals negative 124, 75 squared plus 4, 75 minus 50. This is 300 minus 50, so this is 250. 75 squared is that, 
and I'm dividing by negative 24. So I'm getting negative 234 point, oh, this is very interesting, 375 plus 250. That's tiny. That's only going to be 15.625. So that's definitely not it. So the highest one was actually 48, right? Because 48 gave us 46. 46 is slightly higher than 45.8, which I got from choices A and C. So that was actually a pretty surprising answer. Um, so choice B is the best answer here.